Zero DQW. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Calling CQ Satellite. CQ Satellite. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Calling CQ Satellite and listening. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, if you've seen some of my back catalog of videos, you would have seen I have a keen interest in QO100, which is a geostationary satellite available for use by ham radio operators. Now, the footprint of QO100 is from the South America, across Europe and all the way to Asia. Therefore, we can have some quite interesting conversations with ham radio operators in some unique locations. Now, building an uplink ground station for QO100 will incorporate a 2.4 GHz transmitter with some form of RF amplifier. Now, the further away you are from the satellite, the more power required. Now, for me, I have my own uplink issues due to trees being in the line of sight, but we can talk about that later. So in this video, I want to show this new 2.4 GHz 30 watt amplifier called a Power Blast 30, from a company called eRion, but distributed globally by Macis SV1 AFN from his online web shop. Now I'll leave links in the video description below. As well as the 30 watt version shown here in the video, they also manufacture a 1, 2, 12, 100 and 300 watt amplifier. So if you're into DATV or digital amateur television, then a 300 watt version would be ideal. Now, even though in this video I'll show you it being used on QA100, remember that this is a 13 centimeter amplifier, meaning you could also use this for normal 13 centimeter comms on the ground and not just for satellite work. So, as you can see here, the Power Blast 30 comes in a rather lovely machined aluminium housing. It's also available as a pallet if you want to build this into your own project. Now, I won't bore you with all of the specifications and I will leave a link to the spec sheet below but there are some which I must point out as to why I'm featuring this product. Now, as mentioned before, the maximum output for this amplifier is 30 watts, and that's with just 400 milliwatts RF input. Now, that's a whole 18 dB of gain. This amplifier also has a working bandwidth of 100 megahertz, so that's from 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz. It also uses the latest and more mature high efficiency LDMOS technology which provides extreme ruggedness. In fact, I made a schoolboy error when building my ground station, which I'll show you shortly, and I installed the amplifier back to front. Now, after realizing my mistake, I installed the amp correctly, and it still worked 100% without fault. Now, the Power Blast 30 requires a DC voltage of between 28 and 32 volts. In my ground station, I just use the cheap step-up voltage converter, which works extremely well. At 32 volts and maximum input, the Power Blast 30 draws just 1.5 amps. Now, the output mismatch before damage occurs can be up to 30 to 1, which is quite nice to know, especially when you're working with reasonably priced equipment such as this Power Blast 30. Now, if you're not going to be running the amp constantly, then there is no need for an external heatsink as long as the temperature does not exceed 50 degrees Celsius. When the amp reaches 50 degrees, the internal temperature protection will limit the bias circuit and shuts down the amp to protect itself from damage. As you will see in my ground station setup, I've just attached a stick-on heatsink that I purchased from Amazon. Even after a 60-minute session using the amp on a QSO, the heatsink was just mildly warm to touch, and in no way even reach near 50 degrees. Now on the amp itself, there's a total of five connections. We have two SMA connections, one for the input and one for the output. The remaining three connections are ground, VDD, which is your main input voltage, and then EN, which is the enable pin to activate the amplifier. Now in my case, I simply wired the EN connection to the VDD connection, so the amp was permanently turned on. Please note, never to exceed the VDD voltage on the EN pin. In fact, the EN pin only requires above 1 volt DC to activate it, but with a maximum of the VDD voltage. So let's take a look outside at the installation. So here we have a 1.2 meter offset dish, and for the uplink antenna, we're using a helix type antenna designed by DC8PAT. 
Now this faces towards the dish and our signal is then bounced off it towards the satellite. Now I'm running all of the outside gear with a 12 volt battery. This just saves running an extra power cable. This then feeds into the plastic box. 12 volts is then fed into the SG Labs transverter, which is the big silver box in the middle there. And on the left, we have the voltage step up converter, which takes our 12 volts battery line up to 29 volts. This 29 volts then powers the amplifier, which you can see installed on the right. You will also notice this stick on heatsink attached to the amp. Now the 2.4 gigahertz output from the transverter is roughly around two watts. So we need to bring this down quite a bit and feed it into the amplifier. So just before the amplifier input is a 10 dB attenuator. So if we are getting two watts from the transverter, then the attenuator is bringing this down to around 200 milliwatts. The amp itself can handle between 400 and 500 milliwatts for the full 30 watt output. But as you'll see shortly, 200 milliwatts input into the amp gave me enough output from the amp to bring my signal to a nice clean five and nine into QO100. In fact, I was just below the beacon level, which is the optimum level to be. Now in this view from the dish towards the satellite, you can clearly see I have some trees in the way, which unfortunately really affect the 10 gigahertz downlink. Although it's winter and the signal level is okay, weak signals are not so okay. So therefore I rely on the QO100 web SDR to maintain a reasonable reception of QO100. In the next few clips, I'll show you my QSOs. So at the top of the screen, we have the web SDR from Goon Hilly, and on the bottom left is win for yesu Suite software, so you can see which frequency I'm using when transmitting. This is connected to a Yesu FT991A. Of course, the SG Labs transverter converts my 432 MHz transmission to 2.4 GHz, or thereabouts. I hope you have a lovely Sunday. Yeah, today here in the UK, the weather is not too bad. It's uh, not too bad. I mean, it's, it's only about five degrees, but it's not raining. Obviously <laughs> yet, <laughs> which is good. Anyway, thank you very much for the contact and hope to catch you again. This is Mike Zero, Delta Cubic Whiskey, calling uh, CQ on uh, QA100. This is Mike Zero Delta Cubic Whiskey calling CQ on QO100 uh, and standing by. Oscar Hotel 5 Lima Kilo. Oscar Hotel 5 Lima Kilo, go ahead. Roger, M0 DQW Ocean Henry 5 Lima Kilo. Hello, good afternoon. Nice to hear you via QR100. Nice signal, 5959. My name, Yoshi Juliet Uniform, Sierra, Sierra, India. And my duty H, Helsinki, Helsinki, capital of Finland. My locator, Kilo, Papa, 20, Lima, Foxtrot. Kilo Papa, 20 Lima Foxtrot. How copy? Over. Uh, Oscar Hilo 5 Lima Kilo, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey returning. Well, very good afternoon to you there. Uh, the name here is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango. The locator here is uh, uh, India Oscar 91 Papa Quebec. That's India Oscar 91, Papa Quebec. And uh, yes, you're 59. Uh, perfectly readable. And uh, I think you're my first contact into Helsinki via QA100. My um, location is roughly around 15 miles west of London, QSL. Yeah, okay. Very good. And uh, thank you for nice report from uh, a bit uh, west of London. Yeah, I, I could see from your locator that you must be a bit west of London because uh, I was uh, speaking with a guy who said that he was just, uh, just next to the Heathrow Airport. 
and he gave his locator, I think it was... So after the first lovely QSR I had with OH5LK from Finland, I then moved on to my next QSO, which was with Martin, Papa Echo 2 Delta from Amsterdam. Yep, OH5LK, M0 DQW, thank you so much for the QSO. It's been a pleasure to chat to you this afternoon and hopefully we will work again. Thank you very much, OH5LK from M0 DQW. Bye-bye and uh, have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye. Yeah, stay safe. Bye-bye. Okay, this is uh, M0 DQW, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Uh, anybody else would like to uh, uh, queue up it? Papa Echo to Delta, Papa Echo to Delta. Papa Echo to Delta. Papa Echo to Delta. Go ahead. guys a nice test of the power blast 30 30 watts 2.4 gigahertz amplifier made by e rion now as i mentioned before this amp was supplied to me by Macis sv1 afn via his online web store and i do urge you to go and check it out as he sells some other cool projects as well apart from just these e rion amps of course you can purchase the 300 watt version if you're into that tv also, if you're on the website, check out the rulers that he manufactures and make. They're really cool as well. Until the next video, guys, take care. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.